This summer, Dynasty Eats presents. Is there anyone out there? Guys, Blake really isn't funny. Hello? Don't walk run. There will be blood. Johnson! I can't make out what this is. There will be brunch. It's like an egg. But not, see? General. You're not gonna like this. My god! What is this? This egg. This monster. What is this beast from the east? Tina? Is that you? Who left this egg out here? <laughs> Is this a joke? Hold up. Okay, come on now. Blood isn't that scary. Donald! Daffy! Chewy, Dewey, Bluey. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty weird, but it's a very fascinating Filipino food and definitely Dynasty Eats. So this is blood. It's a slightly fermented duck egg and it's considered street food, bar food, also known as balutan in the Philippines. It's also a delicacy in Vietnam and Cambodia. They're also considered an aphrodisiac, you know, for them sweet nuttons. How to prepare? Boil it. Done. Uh. How to eat? Crack or chip the top of the shell off. Tap it on the counter. Start with the flat side. There will be this amazing fluid. Some people might think it's amniotic sac, but my parents consider it to be the milk of an angel. Hallelujah. Take a sip, sip. After you get the juice, peel the shell. Careful. It's gonna be moist. Moist! And then there's the yolk, which is full of protein and flavor. Its texture is more meaty than a regular hard boiled egg. The thing that grosses people out the most is probably the little baby chick. Real talk, the only way to eat this is to scoop it out, no, God, put it in your please, mouth and swallow no, it. No, if you think about it for too no, much, no. forget about it. At the end, there's a hard piece. It's inedible, so discard it. So you're probably asking, Izzy, where can I get my hands on this disgusting piece of Asian culture? It's so simple. So, so simple. simple! No need for duck hunts, Pokemon snap safaris, or school farm trips, or live chicken shacks. Just go to your local Filipino dispensary, aka a food mart. Luckily here in Queens, we got mini manila. Or if you're chilling in the Philippines, late at night, there's a dude walking around with a car on the street yelling out, Balut! Balut! Some schools in Asia use it as dissections, except they eat it afterwards. The teacher would make the student eat the egg, and if the student didn't eat the egg, you get an F. There's another type of balut, and it's called Dano. It's the same, but it doesn't have that weird chicken side. It's almost like eating scrambled eggs inside a hard-boiled egg. So like we said, it's been known as an aphrodisiac. Supposedly, Our it gives uh, men virility. It was also used as an energy source for college students trying to cram for a test. Just imagine that five-hour energy drink, but instead, you're drinking baby ducks. <laughs> Gross. So, the verdict for those who don't eat it, don't want to eat it, will never eat it, the flavor, 
if you're gonna be adventurous about eating something weird and different, it should be so amazing. And this, it's pretty basic. However, this kind of food reminds me a lot of home and it reminds me of my parents, of my childhood, and my hometown. Also, my homeland. And that's what good food should definitely be doing for you. And that's what Dynasty Eats is all about. So thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Got any cool bullet memories? If you thought what you saw was pretty cool or pretty gross, leave it in the comments below. Got any food suggestions? Let us know. In the meantime, my name is Izzy. It's Arthur. I'm Norm. And this is Dynasty Eats. Until the next episode, eat well, make love, and stay delicious. delicious.